afternoon, guys. Um, let's see, it's Thursday here at the ranch, um, and I just thought I'd pop on for a little bit. Um, we've had a lot of questions and a lot of comments regarding my tattoos. Some positive, some negative. Obviously, tattoos are not for everybody, and that's okay. Um, not everybody has to like them. Um, but I thought I'd take a minute. Yesterday, a couple people that were on the live stream asked um, what my tattoos meant. Um, and so I thought I'd go over that for a few minutes with you guys. Um, and I do have my comments turned on, I think. Yes, I do. Hi, Andrew. Hello. So I'm just gonna go over kind of from top to bottom real quick with my big sleeve. I, of course, I have other tattoos as well. I've always liked tattoos. Um, I think I remember being in like first grade and my student teacher had a single rose tattoo and I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. And so, and that was a long time ago, <laughs> very long time ago. So, um, yes, it's on, it's working. This thing is on. <laughs> so, hi guys. Hi Peter, sorry, I'm also blind as a bat, so I'm doing this from my phone, so I'm having to like lean over and like see who's typing what. But, uh, <laughs> so anyway, um, addressing the tattoos, like I said. Oh, thank you, thank you Sinister. Um, I actually carried around a piece of paper for 10 years that had everything written down that I wanted to include in my tattoo for my sleeve. And I carried it around for 10 years. I kept it in my little wallet case and um, I would add to it. I would restart it and rewrite it when it got too messy or crumpled up. And so everything that's in my sleeve is stuff that I thought about for a very long time and that all has meaning for myself, for my family. So um, there's things from my favorite books and movies and all of that. <laughs> Thank you. I did just go to the dentist and get my teeth cleaned. So I'll, I'll let him know that you think he did good work. <laughs> um, anyway, so um, I've got uh, a little nod to the Princess Bride here, um, a quote from the book, and I guess from the movie as well, to the pain. Um, Thank you, thank you, Simon. Sorry, I could only see the king part. Um, thank you for liking my sleeve. Um, and like I said, you know, I know it's, tattoos are not for everybody, and for those of you who don't like tattoos, don't watch this video, that's all right. Um, but they don't make me a bad person, so they're just decoration. I figure you have one body your whole life, you might as well decorate it. That's how I look at it, personally. Anyway, um, add a little something, something. So, um, and then I've got, uh, this is a waterfall. Oh, I missed that comment. I looked away. <laughs> we'll get to that in just a second. Um, go through the sleeve real quick. So I've got, um, they were asking what other tattoos I have and where. That's what I think too, but they're not for everybody and that's okay. So this is a waterfall representing um, a place that we like to go fishing, which I also named my dog after, Lundy Lake. Um, and, uh, of course, trout fishing. So I got my trout in there. Um, Mike and I were married on 555, which was my parents' wedding anniversary. Obviously, you know, 30 years before that, but um, <laughs> that was their their wedding anniversary date. There you go. Yes, that's awesome. I have a friend who uh, got an autism autism tattoo for her son as well. Um, so, and then I've got magnolias. Um, because I love, I used to, my first apartment was um, on a street, on Magnolia Street, and, or Avenue, I guess, and it had a line of magnolia trees, and I always thought they were so beautiful and smelled so wonderful, and steel magnolias is one of the reasons why I rented the apartment. Steel magnolias is one of my favorite all-time, all-time movies. I have seen that movie, I don't know, a million times might be an underestimation. Um, Mike knows if he comes home and I steal Magnolia's on the TV, something bad went down and I'm upset because I need a good cry. Because once Sally Field does her speech, I lose it. I'm bawling like a baby. Um, <laughs> so, um, so there's that. Um, I am a huge Beatles and Paul McCartney fan. I got to see him three years ago today, actually, um, when he came uh, to San Diego. So, um, and he hadn't been there since, been here since 1976. So. I have my little nod to Paul McCartney, my Flaming Pie, very obscure kind of album of his and a very obscure song, but one of my favorites. Um, <laughs> that's a 
different kind of cry though, RD. That's a different kind of cry. Stub in my toe. Um, and of course, I have a huge thing for flamingos. I love flamingos. If I could have flamingos on the ranch, I would. Mike has told me no. I'm working on it. Um, <laughs> so I have uh, my little neon flamingo stuck in here. We also got married at the flamingo many, many moons ago. Um, we've been married, obviously, 555. We've been married for over 12 years together for 15. So a lot of you that think that I've seen comments too about how uh, how I'm just after him for his money and I'm a gold digger and how'd he end up with me and all of that. He was a struggling musician when he and I were first together. Um, I worked about, I don't know, 10 different jobs and he managed at a bar and did music at night and all that good stuff. So, oh, I missed a couple comments, went by too quick. Sorry about that, guys, I'll check those later. Um, so uh, that uh, kind of, you know, we got married at the, at the Flamingo, so that also has special meaning for me there. Um, let's see what else. And then, of course, my microphone, because I met Mike when he was singing. And uh, photography, because both he and my father were photographers. All three important men in my life, my husband, my father, and my grandfather, all drank JD. Oh, that's cool. I love magnolia trees. That's awesome that you've got five in your yard, G. Um, and then I have my dad had a cobra. Uh, so I uh, got that tattooed after he passed away. <laughs> exactly, RD. So um, I've got my dad's cobra tattooed here. And uh, I kept his license plates off the car that are on my car now because he had personalized plates. Um, I've got the music note in Omnia Paratus. I'm a huge Gilmore Girls fan as well. Um, and I like that, you know, prepared for anything. I think that's a pretty good summation of how I kind of do things. Um, thank you, Jason. Amazing test me. Thank you. Hi, John. What's up? We're going over my tattoos. That's right. <laughs> Ford Power Road for Ranger something. I don't know. I missed that one, RD. Sorry. Um, I'm kind of squinting at the screen because, like I said, I'm doing this off of my phone, you guys. So I am having a little bit of trouble seeing certain things. The 20 minute workout. I know. I well, I, my workout is not 20 minutes. I work out about an hour a day, um, and I think that well, three. You know, like I run three miles a day, um, pretty much every day. Very, very rarely do I miss a day, but I do my regular workout every day. <laughs> he found your buddy apparently, uh, Dutch, Jason, and Dutch are buddies. Um, and then I have four leaf clovers also hidden throughout my tattoo um, because my daughter Frankie uh, was a St. Patrick's Day baby. So, <laughs> oh, thank you, Jay. Thank you. Says it's a he says it's a beautiful sleeve. Thank you. Um, I've got uh, daisies in here for my mom. I had daisies and roses at my wedding, so I have daisies and roses uh, in here. And then my mom's favorite is Tinkerbell, so I have Tinkerbell in here. And my daughter's favorite was Snow White. So uh, um, she was, when first time we took her to Disneyland, her favorite thing was, I have to meet Princess White. So I had to get Princess White in there. An egg with legs. <laughs> Right on, that's awesome. Oh, you're doing your first chickens on Sunday? That's awesome, you know you're getting your first chickens or you're butchering your first chickens on Sunday? Because that's a two totally different things there, isn't it? I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, so that's the gist of what's in my tattoo, I think. I think I hit everything just about. So, uh, getting, oh, there you go. Now these are laying hens you're getting or meat chickens? Because that's another big difference there, too. Hopefully you got everything all set up and ready to go. And then, of course, if they're, you know, babies or mature birds, that depends. Laying hens. So are you getting older girls or are you getting, uh, are you getting chicks? He's getting laying hens. I know, oh, that's right. I'm supposed to repeat because you guys can't necessarily see the comments. He's saying he's getting his laying hens. He and his wife are getting his laying hens this Sunday. That's awesome. Right on, right on. All righty. Well, anyway, so there's those tattoos. I also have, um, I do have my Daisy and Rose wedding ring tattoo on there because I, 18 weeks, okay, that's not bad. So they're off heat, that's good. Um, because I don't, I hardly ever wear my wedding rings um, because, well, it's not conducive to 
being out in the pig pen and things like that. So I'm in California, Kenneth. What state am I in? I'm in California. So I am born and raised here. A lot of you guys have asked where we're from. I was born and raised in California, um, never left. Um, I have a small family, so I just stayed where my family was. Um, Mike is originally from Tennessee and came out here when he was in the service and just never left. And then we ended up meeting down the road. Um, you know, very cliche, of course, at a bar. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I was an avid line dancer. In fact, I went on to teach at that bar uh, for years. So, and he was in the band. So, there you go. All right, on, you're in NorCal, Sean. That's awesome. That's awesome. We're in the South. We're in the South. But yeah. So that's the story behind my tattoos mostly. Oh, and then I have my tattoo for Frankie um, on my wrist. It's a shamrock with her name. Um, and then I have another flamingo on my foot and a couple little odds and ends here and there. But uh, but yeah, for the most part, that's it about my tattoos. Um, like I said, I know there's been lots of positive and negatives. Roosters are brutal, yes. <laughs> no, okay, did I get the entire sleeve done at once? No, um, it took me a while um, to do it. I did it in pieces. Um, not that I couldn't sit and take it. Um, it's just that, you know, get a little bit of money. Oh, I'll go get a couple hours worth of work done and I have time or, you know, God, I don't have time to get in there for a few weeks or whatever it was. So it took some time. I think it took me about, I, I want to say about 18 months to finish it. But it was in total, it was about 29 hours, um, roughly. So, not too bad, not too bad. Um, but anyway, that's the mystery behind my tattoos. Um, I know, uh, like I said, I know some of you aren't super into tattoos, and some of you really are, and that's cool um, either way. But I thought I would just take a minute and, and explain while I had a moment to hop online today. So, well, yeah, but not all at once. It wasn't 29 hours all at once, Gallo. Yeah, it was spread out over time. Although I could sit, I'm one of those people that can sit. I have a very high pain threshold, very high. Um, so, or so I've been told. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, that's that's the story about that. So I got to get back out there and get some more work done around here. But oh, thank you, thank you, what what? I'm glad you're enjoying the channel. Thought I'd hop on here for a little bit. Yeah, we were lucky enough. We had one of our videos go. Um, we were laughing last night because Mike was like, yeah, that one video just kind of went viral and we kind of blew up there for a little bit and got a bunch of subscribers and now that's kind of, you know, dropped in the ranks a little bit because of the way that the algorithms work and all that fun stuff. But I said, well, I don't know if it technically really went viral then. I think it was like a slight bacterial infection. So we had one slight bacterial infection video that did really well for a little while. And now, you know, that's good. It gave us a little bump. And now, you know, we get to... To, to give this a try and get to work on stuff and show you guys what we're doing around here and all that kind of fun stuff, so. <laughs> well, thank you, Gray. Yeah, I'll try, I try to keep, uh, try to stay out. I really don't like doctors, hospitals, all of that. I will um, definitely not be going in for anything like that. Oh, thank you, Simon, thank you. All right, you guys, I'm gonna try to uh, get some more stuff done around here and get back to work. Um, but I was, just wanted to pop on today and say hi to everybody and do the tattoo explanation. Hopefully I won't have to answer questions about tattoos for a little while. And uh, again, guys, if there's uh, negative stuff you have to say, that's okay. Oh, guys, your comments are going away too quick. I'm gonna have to look at it when I get offline. If they're popping up and disappearing too fast for me to read them. Um, but, um, you know, again, let's just keep the, the negativity for, like, you know, your own brain. I always think it's funny that people will say things to people behind their keyboard when they don't think you're a real person, I guess, that they would never say to your face. But uh, that's okay. In the very wise words of Taylor Swift, haters gonna hate. It's all good. So, um, <laughs> you're all liquored up? Uh-oh. <laughs> gotcha. All right, guys. Well, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And uh, we're going to get some more videos cranked out this weekend to you guys that uh, will have both of us, hopefully, in them. <laughs> I feel like the lone wolf right now. 
All right, guys, have a great day and um, peace. I don't know how to do this.